are you going to sell your house or move banks in the next fixed period? So if you're going to sell your house in two months time, probably not a great thing to be refixing your mortgage for a couple of years. One, thanks for watching this video. Today we're going to talk about what you need to think about when it's time to refix your mortgage. So I've got five things that you really need to think about. Uh, the first one is, do you have any savings that uh, you can pay off in this period? So when a mortgage rate finishes, when it matures, that's the perfect time to pay down your mortgage with any savings you've got. When it matures, you can pay off in a certain amount and there will be uh, no break fees. The second thing you need to think about is, are you going to sell your house or move banks in the next fixed period? So if you're going to sell your house in two months time, probably not a great thing to be refixing your mortgage for a couple of years. There'll be break fees when you come to sell your house and uh, you don't want those extra costs. So if you're thinking about selling more than about six months ahead of the end of the maturity date, uh, consider maybe not fixing. So if you were looking to sell in eight months time, you'd fix for a year, but you wouldn't fix for two years because that would be too far out. The third thing to think about is, should you be making additional payments? Now, by default, the bank will probably assume that you'll want to make the minimum payments. But if you can afford more than that, then you're going to really knock out your mortgage a lot faster. Even the smallest payment can knock those payments out a bit sooner. But can you afford that the whole term of that loan? So if you're fixing for two years and you want to pay an extra $1,000 a month, are you confident that you can make that $1,000 a month throughout the whole term? If you're not, then set the minimum payments, uh, set your mortgage to minimum payments, and you can increase those payments along the way with some banks. And that's important to talk to your advisor about, how do I make extra payments on my mortgage? The fourth thing to think about is, which direction do I think the interest rates are heading in? If you think interest rates are heading up, let's say they're at 3% at the moment, and you think they're going to uh, 6%, uh, then you may want to fix for a little bit longer, because if you could get, say, a five-year term at 3.7%, and you think interest rates are going to be at 6% in a year's time, then uh, you would want to take that longer term and that would uh, give you the longest amount of period at these low rates. But if you think they're only going to move a little bit or even move down, then you might want to look at the shorter term, the one or two year rates, so that in a year's time, you can maybe take advantage of those lower rates. And we've seen a lot of that in the past few years, people taking those short term rates and just taking them up again and again as they drop down. So depending on which way you view the interest rates on going, uh, it would depend on which term you're going to choose to lock your rates in at. And the fifth thing to think about is, how much trouble am I in if interest rates jump by, say, 2%? If you're on 3% now and the interest rates jump to 5%, how affordable is that for you? And if it's not affordable, then you might want to consider some of those longer term rates again, so that you know you've got, say, 3, 5 years uh, where you can, you're comfortable with what you've got, you've got that locked in rate, you know what you're paying. If you are comfortable with that 2% jump, you could take those one or two year rates and hope they don't move too much, or if they do, you'll be okay. So a lot to think about when you're fixing mortgage rates. Make sure you talk to an advisor before you do it. Our costs are nothing, you can chat to us anytime, we're always happy to chat. Mm -hmm.